friends so are you wondering how to set up your social links on Click eCourse if you've been if you've set up an account on Click eCourse you might not know where that is because it's actually new we just implemented that uh, the last few days and now I'm going to show you how to do that so Click eCourse by the way is a platform where you can host your own courses for free you start with two courses that you can host on there for free and then there's other plans obviously just like any other platform where you can host more courses where you can get commissions on sales where you can get uh, where there's a social net a social um, a component to it where the social feed and where you can see what's going on on the site where anyways it's it's a site that's one of the very unique uh, course hosting platforms out there so we're going to show you how to set up your social links on Clicky Course in your profile but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right maybe you don't even know what click eCourse is maybe you've never heard of it so we're going to show you a little bit at the beginning or how to set up an account and all that stuff first and let's just get right on it right now so first let's me share my screen so this is click eCourse when you go to clickecourse.com, which uh is uh, over here click ecourse.com when you go to that link you're going to see this page right we're going to see a page where we kind of talk about what it is and who it's for and why you would want to use it and you know all that stuff right so the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to you're going to want to click on the register link now I actually have um an, an account already so I can't do this because it'll tell me there's already an account but I can you can you can do that you can just click on that to connect if you're on Facebook it'll just go and get your email and your profile picture that kind of stuff otherwise you enter a name and email I'm actually going to put in here a test account for this episode which is uh, cis238 by the way if you're listening to this in an audio you might want to go and check out the video at cis 238 dot jsgagnon.com where you can see the video and the blog post on the whole thing so when you're on this page uh you enter your email oops <laughs> that's not right so it's at fxos so your email address and your password and register or you just click on continue as with your Facebook profile there so I'm just going to click on register right here and it'll just tell me that the account's created to check my email at my email address right and um in the meantime I can I can still navigate around I can kind of show you the courses if you click on the courses tab up here you can see all the courses that are on the site uh, you can get any of these courses that are free just by adding them to your library anything that says free like these ones right um, they're all free you can actually look at them and you know go through them and do whatever anyone that are for sale obviously you would pay the price there's lots of them that are on specialty right now in any case now that you've uh sent your registration um email you're going to go you're going to see in your email if I just go into my emails in here <clears throat> I just look for these uh let's just reload the page it should show me uh, my email there it is right here um and that email has a link to the clicky course so if I just click on this I'm going to open that in a new window because I want it to be and then it'll just say successfully activated your account and then it'll log you in so let's just go to the other tab that I had and just reload the page because now I'm logged in right so and that uses cookies and all that so that's so now you can see up here there's a profile picture that's not set yet you can click on that and then you can go in here you're going to go to about your bio you can go set your social links that's where you would set your social links <laughs> if you're not sure where something is you can actually type it in here you can say for example uh, uh sales uh, oh there's no sales <laughs> it's kind of commissions purchases commissions right so if you just commissions you can see what it is right there you can take that out it'll show you all the entries you can also just mouse over it'll show you what more about this or you can click on the little question mark and it'll give you more details as to what it is right okay so the menu 
if I want to set up my social links uh I go to social links pretty simple and in here I can actually add any number of social links I can go in here well here's the thing I, th I think I'm not sure if this will work because no it won't work because the email address doesn't match the email address in in my Facebook account if I it just created my account and I did not click on the on that to log in or to register I could cut I could click it right here but the email has to match the email in your Facebook uh, profile otherwise it will it'll give you an error so to add the social links what you got to do is you got to click on this add new social link and then in here you choose whichever social link you want to use let's say I want to use TikTok I'm going to put <coughs> my TikTok account here and I just click on save and it adds it to the list of social links let's just add another one let's say Facebook my Facebook is new links and I'm going to save that <coughs> and then let's say I want to add I don't know I want to add um my Pinterest is success with js which because I had it in the beginning and then I can go in here and I can add uh, say for example my YouTube my YouTube is also success with js it's my old <coughs> account <coughs> okay and let's say I have a blog I want to add my blog <coughs> I can use this and instead of putting my ID in here I'll just put a custom URL https jeansergegagnon.com right I save that and if I want to add another website like for example I have a website again this one doesn't have an ID it's going to be https um, well click ecourse.com is my uh, one of my websites right so let's just put that there like this and then I can also add a click ecourse uh, account which is my account there is jsg <clears throat> okay so now anyways uh, you get the idea right you can add more then after that when you go to the about page oh I should have showed you that before oh, I should have showed you that before when you go to your about page now you have these uh, profiles now if I go for example find somebody else's uh, profile that doesn't have anything there let me just go to uh, my profile for example over here <clears throat> if I go to my own profile and logged into somebody else uh this is what you see there's nothing there there's no links there's no nothing right if I log out and go to my real profile and yeah so if I log in now to my real profile let's put my real profile in there so now if I reload this page because I'm me now I see my the whole thing and it says add social links in social tab so I can actually go to that tab and just click that to go and add the social links and I'm going to put the real one this is my real account so let me just put that in there my Facebook is going to be is new links my um Instagram is uh, Jean Serge Gagnon my um let's say my LinkedIn is also Jean Serge Gagnon right I'm going to add those in there then my uh, Pinterest uh, like I said earlier success which and then I'll show you kind of how that works afterwards right uh, my Snapchat is um uh, Jean Serge Gagnon as well and my SoundCloud is also Jean Serge Gagnon G -G -E -N. all right and my TikTok is Jean Serge Gagnon what else I have a I also have a, a Tumblr which is success with JS <coughs> I have a clicky course which is JSG I have a blog which is let's know like I said earlier https jeansergegagnon.com now I also have another blog which is my old blog so I'm going to add another blog right here it's also a blog site but it's success with JS my old blog site right success with js.com uh, so now I have two blog sites We're probably maybe I, I should add the ability to give it a name uh, that that just came to me right now as I'm doing this what else do I not have our heart radio I don't have that yet um Alexa is 
uh, http alexa.jobsearch.com <clears throat> what else I have the Twitter of course Twitter over here which is Jean Serge Gagnon I also have YouTube <clears throat> which is uh, success with js and what else do I have I also have um let's see what else do I have uh let's see also I have a wordpress blog which is success with js so I did lots of stuff in the beginning when I first started that I set up with um and then uh, let's see and then uh, do I have another one um wordpress a uh, blog site I don't really need that uh, stitcher the soundcloud I put that in did I did I put the sound? yeah it is right there there should be an ability to delete one or edit. I can edit it right I can go in here and I can edit it if I want um and this one here takes me to the actual link okay so now that I've got it now if I go into about now you can see all these links are here right so if you click on any of them it'll take you to wherever that uh, takes you right wherever that link so you can have people you know find you on Twitter find you on on Instagram find you on wherever right automatically by just being able to click on these things and if I'm not logged in oh by the way oh well I'll do something else I'm going to log out right here you just uh that is not you're not able to see that right so as you can see right here there's a log out button at the bottom I thought I didn't realize you couldn't see it earlier but at the bottom of the list there's a logout button and then you're then when you're logged out you uh, it reloads the page you reload the page so that it shows the page well this is account so I, I can actually go to jsg like this and now I'm on my page and as you can see now the links are there all the all these social icons are, are there on the page and let me move that back over here again and that allows people to find you if they're if they don't know so if I go in the feed I could actually use that for anybody else's post in here right so I just this is a test for a course uh this is somebody that updated the profile picture a lesson that was added to the course a somebody who uh, rated a course right um then uh, added a lesson that's me that's adding lessons right I published a new public course um Eduardo updated his profile picture and I can actually go to this person's profile by just clicking their picture and then if they had their social link set up they would actually show up underneath here right you can actually change your cover photo too by the way uh if I log back in oh and by the way let's do that right now to show you so now that this is my real account I can actually continue as Jean Serge it'll actually uh, pop up this Facebook thing I'm not I have to figure out why it's not closing if you know it's your programmer and you know why this is not closing let me know I'd love to I'd love to hear from you if you can help me out with that okay so now I'm logged in and if I go back to my own profile under my bio and cover <coughs> I can actually change this cover photo just by clicking on the change cover button right there and then I just choose a file to replace it I'm not going to do that actually let me log in to to my test account and do that on there so log out and then I'm going to log in with the cis whoops it's reloading log in with cis cis 238 today right 238 and then log in whoops I didn't change the password to the right password now log in let's do that again cis238 there you go again okay so now I'm logged in with that account so let's go to the, the, the that account's profile the bio and let's go change the cover photo I'm going to change this to <coughs> some file I have on my computer here let's just go to my <coughs> code under here I have a bunch of cover photos I can use under here under this and let's just say I use uh I don't know this one here that 
and then upload a new cover photo so now it's up it's going to upload that cover photo it's going to replace the cover photo there and now I have a new cover photo and if I go into the feed I think it shows up unless that's not I'm not sure that no that hasn't been that hasn't been fixed so whenever whenever you it, it'll show up in in the randomly in the feed at some point it should be added to the top but it's not and that's here's the other thing if you go to your profile you can go to your own news feed and you can actually in this in this feed you can see what you just did right I updated the cover photo I can actually post something I can say <coughs> testing from cis 238 um, if you are seeing this it's a post I did live during the recording of the course income secrets episode number 238 you should be able to visit the blog but at and I'm going to put HTTP CIS 238.jsguyout.com and then I'm going to make this a link actually though probably able to visit the blog we'll do that like this put it right here submit <coughs> and um and what else can I say and you can you set text in, in bold no oh, that works with the b yeah it does bold comma underline italics red green blue and bigger and smaller text okay so let's just do that this will be underline let's make this underline where is it right here italics is right here this will make it red make this red there you go make this green oops uh, no I don't want to fill the I don't want it to be text color I want it green and then whoops let's make this a more easier to see green right we'll do this dark green maybe this green here right there this blue make it blue there you go and bigger size five and smaller and there you go so you can do that right you can do all that and uh and then you can see all this show up like this right and if I was to go into my feed now I think that one is gonna show up in the feed oh it's not I'm not sure why anyways okay so we'll have to fix that but um as you can see in my in my bio I can actually go here and, uh, and if I want to change my cover photo um, not my cover but my uh, profile picture I go into my um, profile and I can change my cover photo right here and I'm just going to put it doesn't really matter I'll put this and then I'll save that now if you uh, connect with your Facebook account that profile picture will be set for you automatically from your Facebook account so you don't have to worry about any of this same thing with your display name your first name your last name all these things they get pulled in from Facebook uh, which makes it easier for you to be found and be seen on here if you're a marketer you that's what you want right if you're trying to build a business online trying to sell a course you want to be completely visible you want people to be able to see who you are and one of the things is over here we want to do cis 238 or your username which um, allows people to see to well about allows you to identify you as you know a specific person right <clears throat> uh that's the user is what you would use to share the profile to share courses to get a commission to share the actual site to get a commission on the on the paid accounts if somebody ever gets a paid account on the site right that kind of stuff uh, <clears throat> what else uh then of course there's a whole bunch of other things in here promos purchases commissions activity advance the programs notifications invites affiliates so invites 
you can actually use that to invite people to the site that way you can send them a link so let's say for example I, I send an, an invite to cis001 uh, test at fxos.com right so if I send an invite to that email <clears throat> that now sends it it lets me know that I sent the invite to that person it also um the invite is only valid for a certain amount of time right like it says right here the site's open the registration so invites aren't required but you can use them because that allows you to tell whether somebody received it or not uh the status here is going to update if they actually click on the link so let's go back to my email and I'm just going to go back here I don't know if it came in already but <clears throat> uh not yet so that'll come in in a moment uh but so that's the thing so you get that link that that person gets that link they click on that link it allows them to create an account on the site and it lets you know that they clicked it so you'll be able to see right here whether it's a new status or not and then when they activate their account they're they're tied to you automatically because you're the one that referred them right so if uh let's see if that's that reloaded yet uh maybe it's in could it be possibly oh there it is invitation to set up your account on click ecourse so um basically you get this invite that says you've been invited to uh you've been invited by cis238 which is the user id right that's why you need to set the user id and your account so that people see who you are you, they don't know who cis238 is right or user 51 or whatever on click ecourse right if you did not expect this you may reply to this email to notify the admins of the site so because we do have rules we don't want people inviting randomly so make sure you don't just invite anybody invite people who you know who you've told them you're going to send them an invite right uh we take it really seriously so however if you did want to set up an account please get the link below so let's just click this in an incognito and show you kind of what happens so this oh I guess that's broke isn't it that's nice that is nice so let's see if I can fix that mm, let's do that like this missing password oh, okay I guess it's something I haven't used in a while I thought it was just still working but I guess I gotta fix that let me make myself a note so I don't forget uh fix invite fixed invite links invite links because it definitely is important to be able to do that um and uh, it has to work because that's that I mean you know it's like uh, the only, the way to keep track right but the idea would be that like I said if the if this was working you would actually get now a status of active or accepted or I forget what it what it does but I guess we'll have to do that in, a, in another uh, video to kind of show you how that works so in the profile in all your profile you've got your profile right here where you set your uh your user name display name would be cis 238 test um cis 238 and last name is going to be test and I'm just going to save that like that um now if I was to send another invite it would say it would say cis 238 test which would be your name right uh what else under time zone you set your time zone under security is where you would set your password if as I said before if you're not sure where where it says profile it says security it says pass password but it's say I'm not sure which one but anyways like I said there's a search there for that uh what else over here you're going to get notifications so if there are any notifications you're going to see them here uh you can send messages right here as well to other people on the site um what else uh, you can upload videos as well which are independent of the the content so in here if I want to upload a new video I just choose the video I can give it a title this is a test video for uh, cis 238 so testing video for upload I don't know I hope this works I haven't done done it in a while too so if I just go up here let's say I go into one of these videos uh, let's go find a video 
how big are these these are pretty big pretty big videos I don't want to use I don't want to take because it does take a while to upload from this computer here uh, let's see if I can find a short video let's just say how to add friends these are like some old uh small set up your profile there you go there's an old uh, video from um for TikTok, I think so now you can upload it you can see the how slow my internet connection is here right here right so it's uploading you can see the percentage as it goes you can see and once that's done if I close this I forget what happens but I think it it keeps going but I forget whether the it'll pop back up yeah it does it pops back up because you can't if I was to cancel the upload then that would cancel it but I can't close this I can't you know uh if I try to navigate away I'm going to lose my upload but uh you got to wait till that's done so that's the video what else can I show you um, but yeah so anyways that's kind of how the site works where you go and set your profile your links your uh if I if I do another actually let's do that let's duplicate so right here he's still uploading he's going to keep uploading right and over here I'm just loading up another another instance it's a little slower because he's busy uploading right but if I go say for example now in my social um just give it a second because it's slow as I said I'm uploading so it slows down the whole thing my internet gets all slowed down and over here you see all these links that I created right oh right that's the other thing I want to do I want to add a name so add name name to social links that would be an option and the other thing I need to probably improve this because when you click on this it's probably not obvious what these two things are right the your id and the custom url there you probably are like well what is that um and the thing is that depending on where you are you can choose if you if there is if the if that social network has a specific um a specific um url with the user in it like for example tumblr is your id.tumblr.com uh, tiktok is tiktok.com with at your id linkedin is linkedin.com slash in slash your id right so if that if that social network has that as a as an account then you will be able to put your id fill in your id with whatever and it'll automatically replace that with you know whatever the the account is right but if it's a if it's a network that doesn't have a sp uh, custom link or the link is not obvious then you'll not be able to do that and it'll, it won't have it won't have a url by default and you have to specify the the url in here right whoops so you do that right and uh, whatever you want but obviously you want to put a proper url there http hps uh whatever right uh that's what that's for and the other thing is that if for example you're on uh snapchat and you don't want to put snapchat.com slash add with jsg with your user right what if you want to put a blog page a blog page where you have where you talk about your snapchat account you talk about things and then on that page you have the snapchat ad well you can put whatever url you want in here you can say https slash jean serge gagnon.com slash snapchat so I could for example have an, a page on my blog that takes so that by doing that then the link becomes whatever I put in here it doesn't matter what what the idea is it gets ignored uh, that's kind of how that works so I hope that this helped you to understand how to add your social accounts on Click eCourse and that's kind of what this is all about and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.